Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey from Trayminder. A lot of you have asked me about chewing exercises. So today I'm going to share with you a simple tip on what to do to allow your aligners to fit your teeth better so that your teeth will move more efficiently. A lot of you have heard about chewing exercises. What exactly are chewing exercises anyway? So let's back up a little bit. When you first put on a fresh pair of aligners, they're not going to fit your teeth 100%. If they fit your teeth 100%, your teeth wouldn't actually move. So each new set of aligners are designed to push your teeth just a little bit so that your teeth will shift into that new position. A lot of times though, when you first put your aligners on, you're going to notice a little bit of what's called a halo effect. What does that mean? So here's an example. So in this case here, you'll see that the, there's a little bit of a gap on the central incisors where you can see a halo. A halo is basically a gap between your teeth and the aligner. So in order to get your teeth to move better, you actually want to seat the aligner higher up. So one way to do that is to push, use your fingers and push up. You're still seeing a gap there. And that's pretty common, especially for people that have power ridges in their aligners. Power ridges are basically a horizontal indentation in the aligner, and that is used to torque the tooth. And if you have power ridges, which are pretty commonly found in the upper and lower incisor areas, you'll notice that little bit of space, what's called the halo. So in order to fully seat your aligner, you're going to have to do chewing exercises. Basically, chewing exercises are using some sort of a tool. The most common would be the foam roller type. Those are called chewies or munchies. They look like this and they are just like a like a foam okay uh, you can use this many many times just be sure to clean it uh, thoroughly at least a few times a day rinse them off what i usually tell my patients to do is to keep one of these chewies inside their aligner case so that they always have access so what you would do is you would seat your tray so like this and use your chewy to chew into place. Okay, so I usually would recommend chewing for five minutes. You can go ahead and either chew in different areas and squeeze, or if you have some trouble areas in the front, you'll keep it in that area and squeeze and hold for five to 10 seconds and release. Do this for five minutes, three times a day. Ideally, you'll do your chewing exercises every time you put your aligners back on after a meal, do, for, do it for about five minutes. Usually you'll only need to do this for the first two to three days for every new aligner. For the following days, usually your teeth are going to be seating pretty well and you won't have to do that anymore. There's another option. Uh, there are these um, aligner seating mints. Okay, this one is called Move Mints and they are specially shaped to fit your teeth so they're also they also have a xylitol which is sugar-free and it actually has some anti-cariogenic properties which just basically means that it helps to decrease the risks of uh, developing cavities if you are using mints it's really important to choose the sugar-free variety especially when you're wearing clear aligners so these movements are shaped like so and there, there's a peak and there's a valley and it's basically meant to, uh, the, the valley is where you bite into. So
like this. And if, so if you're out and about, you don't want to break out your foam roller chewies, then you can pop in one of these mints. And do it pretty discreetly uh, now some of you some of you have dry mouth as a result of using clear aligners so these sugar-free mints are a good alternative or a good option for you to increase a little bit of salivary flow it freshens your breath a little bit now, if you don't want to do chewies or mints, you can also just buy a whole bunch of cotton rolls. You can, you know, use them and throw them away. Um, that's a good option. You can also use washcloths to help see. So there are lots of options out there. You can even try, you know, baby chew toys. <laughs> that might be a little weird, but that could be an option too. But personally, I like the foam roller one because it's uh it's small and you can keep it in your aligner case and the mints are nice too you know just who doesn't like to suck on some mints and that also help us to see our trays better so i do like those two options all right so we went over the reason why we want to do chewing exercises how to do them some tools to help you to do those chewing exercises and my final advice is that, um, you know, you don't really want to change your aligners or change to a new set just because your seven days or 10 days or 14 days is up. It's really important that you look at your teeth and see how they are tracking along with your clear aligners. Tracking means that your teeth are moving accordingly. You're not seeing a whole bunch of gaps between your teeth and the aligners, or you're not seeing those halos. Because if you are, then switching to a new tray really isn't going to help you because your teeth may get further and further behind. They'll be tracking less and less. And if that were to happen, your orthodontist may have you backtrack and go back to go back you know a few aligners to find the best fitting aligner and then go forward from there so it's important if you're seeing those halos to point it out to your orthodontist and so that they can tell you what to do uh, now i have to mention that there are there are a set of teeth called the lateral incisors those are these guys, the second ones here. They're notorious for not tracking, okay? Orthodontists hate lateral incisors. We don't hate them, but the reason why they don't track well is because they're small. They're also flat. They don't have a lot of anatomy. So it's difficult for aligners to grip onto them. Imagine trying to grip a wet watermelon seed. Think about how slippery it is. There really isn't a lot for you to hold on to. So uh, for me, I always try to put attachments on lateral incisors so that that improves the chances of the trays gripping them better. Uh, now, if you're noticing that your lateral incisors are showing halos or you're not, uh, they're not tracking, definitely increase your use of chewies, chewing exercises to help your tray seat better. Another advice I have for you is that a lot of patients will generally chew right where the lateral incisors are here. And my advice is to not only use the chewies in this, in that area right here, but also use it on the centrals, which are the center, the center teeth right here. Okay, definitely chew on the centrals too. A lot of times it's actually the centrals that are not intruding that's causing a halo to form where the ladder incisors are. So those are my little tips uh, for you in terms of doing your chewing exercises you know leave me a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or you know of any other two tools that you want to recommend i hope that you have found this uh, video to be helpful please give it a thumbs up if you like it tell your friends about it and i hope to see you next time bye